this year is different to a lot of other years that we've had. So what does that mean for you and your client? Well, the season obviously um, made it very difficult in the beginning. Um, we were lucky enough to catch a break halfway through, so we were allowed to put them on crop. So for us, it was about expressing genetic potential. And uh, we think we've done that. They, yeah. So they're in, you know, we're pretty proud of their condition. Uh, I think they're in really good working order. Um, as being yearlings, they always have to be a little bit ahead of the pack uh, because they do take that hit in the first year. Um, so yeah, we're very proud of them. It's the Lionheart bull that we bought, the uh, Queensland record $70,000 bull that we bought from Ascot. Yeah. He's a son of Hallmark, so again, we've replicated genetics and, and consolidated along the lines we've got. but. Lionheart has given us extra muscle and extra punch. Trait leader for eye muscle area and a trait leader right across the board, um, particularly for all the indexes. So we're just stoked that he's done so well and he's bred so well. We really pinned our ears back with Judo because in our top selling sire line for the past three years. What people love about them is see, they're so easy doing. Uh, they've proven themselves in the drought, they've proven themselves in the feedlots and the abattoirs. The bull himself has now been accepted into the Young Sire program. Uh, we're the first people, probably one of the first people to use Baldridge Compass, who was one of the famous eight bulls uh, from the Baldridge uh, massive sale a couple of years ago. Uh, so Compass has given us some really good heifer, heifer type bulls there. They're very easily born, a bit earlier maturity than some of the other bulls there people that are looking for that early supermarket type animal. So again, we've used Hallmark again. This is the third time we've used him. We just love a big bull that's got IMF because that's what we're chasing, that Jap B3 and increasingly that market that's growing across the world for high quality, high marble beef. Um, so Hallmark has again really hit the pocket there and this time we've used him over bigger, soggier cows. So they are thumpers, those bulls. Serious killer games. Uh, the other one we've used is a bull called Proceed and we have some magnificent animals by Proceed. We really wanted to use that bull himself heavily. He's the highest marbling bull in the States now and he's one of those rare bulls that's got marbling and muscle. You know, we haven't been able to find them in the past. Yep. The bull is now dead. It's your last chance probably to get in to use a Proceed. We're using two Proceed bulls in the stud this spring so we're very excited about that bull. Well guys, again, uh, congratulations. Fantastic lineup of cattle and best of luck for the start.